and it's all free, baby. You know, I'm providing you all this coaching, everything for free. Welcome everybody. If you're interested in business credit, personal credit, and general motivation on how we are going to be successful in the future, this is the channel for you. Welcome to Cakeology, baby. I'm your boy B.O.B., nothing but the best of the best here. Today, we are going to be discussing Lexus Nexus. A lot of people do not know what Lexus Nexus is. Lexus Nexus is the largest online database available. Super important for us to know what it is, what's on there, and what we need to do to protect our privacy. That is what we are going to be talking about today. And make sure you wait till the end because I got a whole free cheat sheet for you on exactly what LexisNexis is and how you can lock your LexisNexis report and opt out of your data being easily accessible to all kinds of people. I'm talking about the alphabet boys, whatever. We're getting into it today. So ha have you ever applied for a credit card or applied for a certain loan and they ask you, well, we're gonna ask you some information that's on your public record. For example, where have you lived? What have your addresses been? What kind of car do you own? Is this your brother, your sister, your baby, your child, your mother, your father? All of those questions. Well, guess where they're getting those questions and those answers from, ladies and gentlemen? It's Lexus Nexus. So Lexus Nexus contains all the addresses that you've ever lived at your emails, your phone numbers, whatever homes you've owned, liens, judgments, anything available in public, public records, LexisNexis has. Now what they do is they compile a number of other online databases and they put it all into one. One neat source on a book about your life. I'm talking about everything. I ordered my LexisNexis report and you guys would be shocked to see how thick that is. Actually, hand me my LexisNexis report real quick. This is what my LexisNexis report looks like. Do you see how thick this is? Do you see how many papers this is? That's because I've owned a ton of property. I've had a ton of different businesses and all kinds of stuff. But I tell you what, when I was going through this, it was amazing the type of information that they have on me. It is crazy. This is it. Okay, this is how thick it is, and, and, and it's about two inches thick. I'm talking about hundreds of pieces of paper. So this is all of the public information that is available on each and every one of us. Now, to me, being a private person and wanting to have my identity protected, because as you very well know, there's all kinds of data breaches. There's all kinds of things going on with Equifax and, and, and TransUnion, and you don't know what's gonna happen, who's gonna hack into what. So for me, my private information, the, the information that is available to agencies, to other organizations is very, very important. And we're gonna find out exactly how to lock it. So let's go over it again. LexisNexis, number one online database. They've got everything about you. They know about every single home that you've ever owned, cars you've owned, your relationships, who your brothers and sisters are, who your kids are, what taxes you paid, if you had any liens, any judgments, any bankruptcies. Bankruptcy information is available on LexisNexis. In addition, LexisNexis even has all of your marriage and divorce records. So if you've ever been married, you've ever been divorced, all of that information is on there. Tax liens, if you ever had tax liens, whatever taxes you've paid, have not paid, all of that is in, all of that information is on LexisNexis. Now, let's talk about who actually uses LexisNexis on a daily basis. Number one, We've got your federal authorities. We've got the police departments. We've got other law enforcement agencies. They normally use LexisNexis to get information on whomever they want to, okay? 
Number two, you've got your banks, you've got your creditors, you've got your attorneys. So when private investigators and, and attorneys are looking up information on an individual that they might be assisting with a case or another individual, the first place they're gonna go is LexisNexis. It's an all-in-one solution for these agencies. So once again, it is important for us as consumers to know what data is out there on us and who has access to that data. Very important when we're moving forward. So we need to find out what it is that we can do to lock this information down. In addition, you would not believe when I locked my LexisNexis report, then I went to the bank to try to open up a checking account for my business. What happened then was they ran check systems like they always do. What was crazy about the whole thing is that they could not pull my check systems report because my LexisNexis was locked. So that ding, 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 what's going on here? So what I did was I called check systems. What check systems told me was that they get their information from LexisNexis. So if you lock your LexisNexis report, even check systems will not have access to any of your information. So obviously that's good and bad. On a, on a regular basis, we need to keep that report locked, okay? But if we're going to open up a checking account, we're going to open up our business account, we are going to need to unlock that report so check systems can pull their data from LexisNexis. Now this is huge. Now for example, if you have a bankruptcy or a lien or something else that's preventing you from getting credit, preventing you from establishing your business, these things can be disputed with LexisNexis. They have to provide that verification and the information that they receive from those creditors to prove that those things actually belong on the report and to prove that those items are actually yours. So it's really, really important that we order our LexisNexis report and that we know what is on that report. And if there are some inaccuracies or things that do not belong to us we can dispute them this is really really important that's where that uh, fair credit reporting act comes in to our benefit here okay so let's make sure that everything is accurate everything is as it should be and that our personal information is locked and secured super important so you know you, you know y'all i got my freedom hat on braveheart what's up baby so we are free we do want freedom we do want to be financially free we want to be just free in general we want to fly so i tell you what if there's some incorrect information on that lexus nexus you can freeze it you can also dispute it with equifax with experian with transunion ladies and gentlemen it's super important to get that real freedom freedom Listen, we gotta go for it. We gonna do it together. Now, how do we freeze this LexisNexis report? Well, ladies and gentlemen, I got a link in my description below on the whole LexisNexis cheat sheet. On the phone numbers that you can call, I've got a sample of a letter that you can send to them, either by fax or by mail. I always recommend sending it via mail, sending it certified with that return receipt so you have a record of when you sent it and that you sent it and that they received it. I don't want to hear, hey, you say we didn't get it. No, you did get it. I got the receipt right here. So just if the link is in the description below, click on it, get the cheat sheet, and it's all free, baby. You know, I'm providing you all this coaching, everything for free. I hope you like it. Please like, please subscribe. I got tons of more information coming out. And remember, you know, I'm listening to Kenny Rogers today. Every hand's a winner, every hand's a loser. It depends on how you play the game, baby. We gonna win all the way. Hit it, baby.